So hi everybody and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners and in this video we continue. In this video we want create a main menu and I talked about something like uh, we need a user interface so that when the player start the game he can see a main menu and how we are creating a user interface in Unreal Engine 5. That is the topic for this video and let's get into it. So first of all we jump here in our content drawer to our full uh, to our folder and we create a new folder right click new folder and call it ui this is a short uh, uh, cut and means user interface and you will most time read this uh, ui almost in all documentations as well be because all use it so get to use it too <laughs> and the next thing is we open up our user interface folder we right click here again and here we go down where it says indeed user interface and here we need this widget blueprint and this is the way how unreal engine 5 will create uh, uh, this user interfaces for games this is probably one way there are more ways so when you have this and here on top we have a comment this is the most used user uh, widget what uh, we will use as well but of course there are perhaps already created one downloaded one or whatever and this is more for at one stuff but right now you have to know we need this user widget and we click it and after we click it uh, there is again this new convention i think we need a prefix normally we have uh unreal engine used we be for widget blueprint but they change it perhaps just to w not we w sorry for that <laughs> and anyway we use this one widget blueprint uh because there are widgets uh perhaps widgets with other things then we call it w anything so and this widget blueprint the name i gave is main menu right widget blueprint main menu because it should be our main menu asterisk means it is not safe control s or here save all we click double click it we open this up and what you see now uh let's get rid of this main menu what you see now here is widget blueprint layout let me uh, recap this fast again what's important what's not on the left side we have a, a palette palette means um, the graphical uh, the graphical inputs uh, let me show you for example here's a button that looks very uh, big but when i zoom out it's very small and then this one is a button for example then we have a text file and so on image file which i can't place here because i have not placed a canvas panel the first thing what we do is uh, um, I want to make a recap <laughs> right maybe here let's continue so you have here the palette the palette means you have here options which you can put in the graphical interface this is also the graphical interface and here we have a hierarchy which means what you put here it will order here in uh, here down and you can even see how they are attached to each other and uh, something like that rename that and on the right side we have our standard details panel details panel for example our button then you see there are some important uh, things what you want to change for example the button color the button name or the text name or something like that and what we have here is a library probably you download it and can use it uh, extend this uh, thing what you have here that's uh, more for at once one for us all what we have here is enough then on the right side on top the coding side because this one will be our visuals uh, uh, yes the visual side and we have here a coding side and this should be familiar with a blueprint we have here on the left side again some notes here details panel and then we will connect it's similar but not exactly but let's go on and in designer what we want to do is there are different ways we make a very basic a very very basic uh main menu so how we start a very basic main menu very easily the first thing we can put is a canvas panel a panel panel here we go to the panels this 
uh, you see we have here many many panels later we will uh, use one of them or more of them depends what uh, widget we make but right now we need just a canvas panel and you see this canvas panel is just let's say the start page where you can put all that what i mentioned before all the other stuff which is here in it is just a panel <laughs> and very important here for uh, perhaps to this right side we have here this arrows and here you can change the resolution in my case desktop the standard resolution is probably this one uh 180p called and i set this one to this one. uh okay then the next thing is um, i make a very basic uh, um, main menu and how we make a very basic main menu very easy we get first the button here i said this is a button now you see it looks more like a button here this uh, white balls you can scale it make it bigger and of course you can use the details panel for this one too here are you uh, look here on the right side when i change this one for example the values change but the good side on this visual representation is you can try you <laughs> to do this with your eyesight too so this one is more for accurate things when you have uh anything what you want to uh, make similar or same but in our case we make it with our eyes i say this one looks good then you use it and the next thing is here on the left side we have a strange looking thing it is called the anchor this is the first top and this one uh, is uh, used later when you change the resolution in which uh where this uh for example what i put here in this case the button is attached to so it will calculate all time from this point on in this case let's calculate it from this one so let's click on the anchor here and i press it here now it will all time calculate to the left side and read in the documentation a little bit more about that one it's uh, not easy to explain so the next thing is i have now a button let's go on and I want but you see a button has most time a name we have not a name but how we can add a name here we have a text normally you can put this text here but there is something sometimes you can attach a text also to a button careful this one is not attached right now how you can see that that this one is not attached you go to the left side here's our canvas here's the button which is in the canvas but this text is not uh, is also in the canvas but not in button i want that this one is actually attached to this button and there's a uh, different ways let me uh, show you this fast too you go to the text here where is that uh where are uh, here <laughs> okay and sometimes it snaps in if it's not snap in you can go here to the hierarchy and then select it and drag it to the button in and now it's as well in that is we have now a button with a text this text block is just for naming so i select this text here on the side go to the details panel and search the content the content means the text the name and in this case i call it very simple start yes and what i'm going to do next is let's make this button perhaps a little bit bigger and you see this text is a little bit too small tool we can go to the details panel select the text and make this bigger as well the place where you were going to make this bigger so the content was the name and the font is the in font you find the size and the size you can change here the number or uh, there are different ways you find a number or you select this one and use your mouse and uh, move it to right left and then and then again with my eyes i don't find i say with my eyes yes that looks good that's cool and we are almost finished but there is one more thing this button looks a little bit boring let's click on the button here or here but uh, make sure that it's all time not the text selected this time the button and then here is a little bit we go to the appearance here on the details panel we go here on style this is more on Harvard, but this is not what we 
are interested right now, but later for sure. <laughs> and we go here to the color and opacity, and here you can either type in the numbers, but most time I don't know these numbers, but of course you can watch them uh, and find them. And here I can just change here the color name of um, of my button, for example. Let's take this one and I press okay and here are something interesting too here's an eyedropper eyedropper means you can select anything here in everywhere anything what you find and it will take the color which is right there it's also very uh, it comes very handy but in our case i just go randomly what's going on wait a minute see what i did so i go randomly here with my mouse on top and think not much and say that looks good and all style if you are very good in design style of course you can make this much better than me <laughs> all right the next thing is perhaps i want to change the button color uh, background too here's a background setting so these are just settings perhaps let's go for something blue right let's go for blue for example and click here okay now we have a button we have almost a main menu and i need a quit button as well here we can use a trick you go here to the hierarchy or you can go do this here as well but here on the hierarchy select the button of course right click and duplicate this one and now you see the same button is here duplicated now you can make this again uh, scale it with your eyes so it looks good or not to say that's fine or not i say that's cool and then what you can do here is of course you can change the name and we say here quit we wanted a quit button perfect so the next thing is here um one thing you can do which i'm not showing here is there is an image button uh, image uh, uh yes you can uh, load an image here then you drop this one in you make this big and when it's anchored here you can write the size here if you want for example this time i write here indeed the number and the number is the resolution which i showed you here at the start uh, x was 1080 and other way around <laughs> 1920 for x and uh, y is 1080 all right and when you do this later we can uh, i show you how to add an uh, image if you want you just download or drag and drop into your project image but we have here a problem and before i show you the problem let's anchor this we go here on the anchor and here i anchor this to the whole panel because i want that the image is sc uh, scaled up here uh, the whole panel so the problem is now it covers my buttons right and there is a very important uh, uh, option which in our details go here to details and it is called set order the set order means uh, you want to put it in front or in uh, or behind or only like that not more not less so zero is right now and the other ones when we click to button they have also a set order they are also zero and you can see they are they are on the same level and i don't want this so what i make is very easy i click on my image and say i want that my image is a background image so i make a minus one and now the image is behind because zero comes after minus one and that said uh you can click then the image here again on the side in details panel here we go to where is that when i find it in appearance oh not in appearance sorry in brush <laughs> uh, it's in appearance it was at once here in appearance in brush and here is the option image all right and when you click this one then you can find here these are in game from the engine images but they are not very useful i just click anything just for demonstration purposes uh, we'll probably not use it well, can i use that one i probably not and yeah this hdri image we can't use but let's click one of these other ones 
probably a texture we have to click a texture that's very important i click now this one and you see now we have an image but you see this image is not very good now you can download from the internet a very nice image uh very stylish or you can draw it yourself if you are a designer or you can create an image in other third party programs and make amazing stuff with that uh in my case i'm bad that's why i use another trick and this another trick i will probably show you in the next video because i removed this image but of course if you have a very good image just bring an image and then this will work too but in my case i removed this image and i will use a 3d space actually our main menu i create a little bit 3d space there it looks then more 3d image is also a very alternative fast way but here before i quit this video here one more thing uh, let's let's style this a little bit more there is one more thing when you go here anywhere down where it says sheer you can check this options or easy mode you go here and search sheer oops yeah there is it and sheer like it says it is a transform and you can sh turn it a little bit here and this one is yeah 50 let's use 50 here too and otherwise minus 50 and what you see now is let's delete this search so i have all options available again what you see now here is it looks a little bit more 3d that's cool and compile save and with that said we stop here uh, i will show you how to add this one um in the next video to the viewport in our main menu that's so when we start this one we can see it and then i will also introduce you the other way instead of using an image background image uh, uh, there is another way absolute cool way so you have a 3d background very easy and straightforward so that said bye and see you in the next